and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to talk about this e-bike right here the Lyric Graffiti and also it's not in the video but we're going to also talk about the Aerial Rider Grizzly because we recently were riding my friend Keith and I on bike trails specifically Fennel Creek Trail and I got a comment uh, from someone basically saying that that bit bike should not be on the bike trail it's a motorcycle because it can go it's capable of going 33 miles per hour or the, both bikes are capable which they are of going uh, 33 miles per hour so I'll leave a link for the video that I'm speaking of it was just recently put up on the channel and anyway we were not riding anywhere close to that speed on the trail but the fact that the bike is capable of going that speed this person said that you should not be on there and he went on or she whoever it was went on to make comments like uh the uh, trail is for uh, legitimate e-bikes so in their eyes the Lyric Graffiti and the Aerial Rider Grizzly are not considered e-bikes because they can go 33 miles per hour even though we were not going anywhere close to 33 miles per hour on the trail and um, so I would like to get some of you out there uh, your opinions on this and I'll leave it in the uh, comments below what do you think do you think we were doing wrong by going on bike trails because we had bikes that are capable of going 33 miles per hour I don't know why they specifically used 33 miles per hour uh, in the comment but that's the speed that they talked about so what do you think of that I um I think it's kind of silly because to me that's like saying a car that is capable of going 100 miles an hour you're not riding it driving 100 miles an hour but you are capable of going that speed that you can't go on basically any road or highway because it can exceed the speed limit to me that's silly but anyway, um, I just wonder what your opinions on that. Now, the trail that we went on, there was no sign at all that I saw that said you can't ride a, an e-bike on that trail. And as far as what I can uh, see with laws or trails here in Oregon, e-bikes are treated just like a regular, uh, they're uh, you just treated like uh, a regular bicycle. I mean, you can't go crazy and drive 30 or 40 miles an hour on the bike trail, and I don't know who would want to, and it's kind of hard to do that anyway because they're narrow, and you don't know who's coming up around the corners and stuff. Sometimes they're, uh, you know, a sharp corner. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, we weren't riding anywhere near that. We weren't reckless. We weren't, you know, so I don't know what fired this person up you know so much about it because uh i see lots of e-bikes on the trails and uh, i've never heard anybody nobody's ever complained to me yet anyway not even once so 
Not that I ride the trails all the time. I usually ride on the road, but sometimes I do. And um, I can understand if you're riding recklessly, it doesn't matter if you're on an e-bike or a regular bicycle. You know, you don't ride recklessly. You know, you uh, respect everybody else on the, on the path or trail, which I do. And then I, I don't understand that one. But anyway, uh, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go and do a video and talk a little bit about that. And let's see what other people think. And the other thing that I didn't quite un understand was that where they uh, was mentioning about uh, allowing legitimate e-bikes on the on the uh, trail. Now I don't know what they consider to be a legitimate. Is it a class two e-bike? I didn't quite understand that. Maybe somebody who agrees with that person can maybe talk about it in the uh, comments below. I be interested to read that but anyway that that got me uh, scratching my head I guess is what I would say because I couldn't quite understand it but. I think some people just don't like uh, this style of e-bike. You know, it, it has the look more like a motorcycle. It's not a motorcycle, but it looks like one. And boy, that really gets people, some people's blood boiling. You know, they think that that bike is not a bike, not a bicycle. They almost, uh, to me, sounded like a traditional bike cyclist who just don't like e-bikes at all. You know? But uh, I think it's just the way it's going to be. You know, there, you're always going to have some people that don't like don't like your bike. What if they, uh, here's one, what if they were riding a trike on the bike trail, okay? So the trike might not go fast, but it's gonna take up a lot of space because it's wide, is that okay, you know? I, So let's, let's uh, find out what others think of this though and leave a comment in the comments below. I'd like to see um, what you think of it. Is it because this bike looks like a motorcycle? I guess, I guess it's the big wheels, the fat tires and the headlight. Is that what makes it look like? If I had two and a half inch wide wheels on here and a, a tiny headlight would anybody complain then oh look somebody to race with
and that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.